Welcome back to another edition of the TGIF Tip of the Week. You know, one of the major swing flaws that golfers have who lack power is a swing flaw called the late buckle. It's actually after impact, there's a tremendous increase in the flex of the knees. You'll see this late bending sitting down as the player goes through impact. It can add a tremendous amount of softness to the shot, which if you're trying to hit a full speed driver or even a knockdown eight iron, that's not what you want. Power in the swing comes from flexion and then extension. Flexion and then extension. In the arms, there's flexion and then extension. Flexion extension is the key to having the maximum amount of power that you can have in your swing. However, there is a usefulness to late buckle and that is shots around the green. If you're trying to add delicacy and softness to the shots that you hit around the green, a late buckle can be very, very, very useful for hitting the ball higher and softer. And especially if you have shots around the green that you don't wanna to hit too far, a late buckle can give you a tremendous amount of control in terms of how far the ball goes. So, it's an example of one of the opposites in golf, and that is late buckle on the full swing is a bad thing to do. You wanna have extension, not late buckle. Yet, late buckle around the greens is a very useful thing to do to add delicacy and height and spin to your short shots. If you have questions about late buckle and you wanna know more about it, just come see one of your TGIF instructors and let us know and we'll be happy to schedule a time for you to talk about this or any other aspect of your swing. Thank you.